Hi everyone, welcome back to Nina Library for our art tutorial today. Today I'm going to show you how to make some homemade scratch art. All you need is some crayons or oil pastels, some black acrylic paint and some washing up liquid. The first step is really easy. You will cover your whole page with whatever colours you would like and you can use crayons or pastels. You can use cool colours and warm colours and choose whatever patterns you would like to use. You can plan your colour scheme or you can just go crazy. When you're finished colouring your whole page, you will need to mix equal parts of acrylic paint and washing up liquid. You can also use any craft paint that you like that you have around at home. You're going to paint over the entire surface and you may have to put on two coats so you can't see the colours beneath your black paint. And you go across with your brush in one direction and the second coat in the opposite direction so that it's, it's solid opaque black. Leave it for about an hour to dry. And it does need to be completely dry before you start scratching. I've done a small test piece first and I'm using a chis kebab stick you can use a mechanical pencil where the lead is not sticking out, or a skewer, or whatever you like. For my test piece, I'm going to scratch out a simple monkey design. This is a bird I've sketched out earlier and I'm going to attempt to scratch out that pattern on my rainbow scratch art paper. Just like any other drawing, save the details till last. I'm first going to map out my major lines and shapes. Whatever you do decide to draw, it needs to be very line and shape orientated. Because your colour scheme is random, everything and every mark that you make is not going to have so much to do with colour but with the line shape and orientation. So I'm mapping out my major shapes first and then I'll go and scratch away to reveal more colour. Enjoy the process, it's a very tactile and fun experience and don't worry about if it's not perfect. Draw whatever inspires you. Simple designs are often the best.
I'm going to add a little bit of nature around my bird. So I'm putting him on a branch and I'm adding some leaves. I have a lot of black in the background, which I could certainly add to.
Now that I have the hang of it, I can scratch away to reveal more colour. I hope you enjoy making this rainbow scratch art as much as I have. Bye for now from Nina Library. See you soon. Bye.